Genesis, the first book of Moses, chapter 44. And he commanded the stewards of his house, saying, Fill the many sacks with food, as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack's mouth, and put my cup, the silver cup, in the sack's mouth of the youngest, and his corn money. And he did according to the word that Joseph had spoken. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away, they and their horses. And when they were gone out of the city, and not yet far off, Joseph said unto his steward, Up, for after the men, and when thou dost overtake them, Say unto them, Wherefore have ye rewarded evil for good? Is not this it in which my Lord drinks, and whereby indeed he defines? Ye have done evil in so doing. And he overtook them, and he spoke unto them the same ones. And they said unto him, Wherefore says my Lord these words, God forbid that thy servants should do according to this thing. Behold, the money which we found in our sacks' mouths, we brought it again unto thee out of the land of Canaan. How then should we steal out of thy Lord's house silver or gold? With Whomsoever of thy servant it be found, but let him die, and we also will be my Lord's bondmen. And he said, Now also let it be according unto thy words. He with whom it is found shall be my servant, and ye shall be brainless. Then they speedily took down every man his sack to the ground, and opened every man his sack, and his sack, and began at the oldest, and left at the youngest, and the cup was found in Benjamin's sack. Then they rent their clothes, and loaded every man his ass, and returned to the city. And Judah and his brethren came to Joseph's house, for he was yet there, and they fell before him on the ground. And Joseph said unto them, What did is this that ye have done? Wot ye not that such a man as I can certainly define? And Judah said, What shall we say unto my Lord? What shall we speak? Or how shall we clear ourselves? God has found out the iniquity of thy servants. Behold, we are my Lord's servants, both we, and he also with whom the cup is found. And he said, God forbid that I should do so, but the man in whose hand the cup is found, he shall be my servant. And as for you, get you up in peace unto your father. Then Judah came near unto him, and said, O my Lord, let thy servant, I pray thee, speak a word in my Lord's ears. And let not thine anger burn against thy servant, for thou art even as for all. My Lord asked his servants, saying, Have ye a father or a brother? And we said unto my Lord, we have a father, an old man, and a child of his old age, a little one, and his brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother, and his father loves him. And thou saidst unto thy servants, Bring him down unto me, that I may set mine eyes upon him. And we said unto my Lord, the lad cannot leave his father, for if he should leave his father, his father would die. And thou saidst unto thy servants, Except your youngest brother come down with you, 
you shall see my face no more. And it came to pass when we came up unto thy servant, my father, we told him the words of my Lord. And our father said, Go again and buy us a little food. And we said, We cannot go down if our youngest brother be with us. Then we will go down, for we may not see the man's face except our youngest brother be with us. And thy servant, my father, said unto us, Ye know that my wife bare me two sons, and the one went out from me. And I said, Surely he is torn in pieces, and I saw him not since. And if ye take this also from me, and mischief befall him, ye shall bring down my grey hairs with sorrow to the grave. Now therefore when I come to thy servant my father, and the Lord be not with us, seeing that his life is bound up in the Lord's life, it shall come to pass, when he sees that the Lord is not with us, that he will die, and thy servants shall bring down the grey hairs of thy servant our father with sorrow to the grave. For thy servant became surety for the Lord unto my father, saying, If I bring him not unto thee, then I shall bear the blame to my father forever. Now therefore, I pray thee, let thy servant abide instead of the Lord, a bondman to my Lord, and let the Lord go up with his brethren. For how shall I go up to my father, and the Lord be not with me? This peradventure, I see the evil that shall come on my father. <laughs>